Hitting a heavy bag can be an awesome way to work your technique, work your speed, work your power, and get a great workout, but it can be really intimidating. For new people that are hitting the bag in the gym or something, you don't want to look like an idiot, so here's a few top tips for beginners starting to work the heavy bag. Top tip number one then guys for those working out at the gym is don't worry about what other people think. It can be really easy to get intimidated by the gym and think oh my god there's these huge gorillas that are lifting up weights, they're dropping them down, they're grunting, but I guarantee that they are working on their own workouts and they're thinking about their own technique and their own fitness goals, okay? They're not worried about what you are doing. So get that out of your head, focus on your own technique, don't worry about what other people do. Just get a foundation and build on it. Tip number two, safety. So make sure that your hands are wrapped underneath. There's plenty of videos out there all about hand wrapping. Make sure you get a good pair of bag gloves or boxing gloves and start slow. Don't put any power in to start off with until you've conditioned your hands a little bit and you're getting the technique right. Start slow, build up, enjoy it, and then work up to getting a decent workout where you're throwing your shots and you're getting a good cardiovascular and muscular workout. Start slow, safety first, guys. Next top tip then, guys, all about distance. Don't be so far away from the bag that I'm leaning in order to do my punches, and don't be so close that here, I'm just doing tiny T-Rex punches. I wanna be in the right distance where I can pop my shots off, and I'm punching through the pad, or through the bag, okay? I don't wanna be stroking the bag, I don't wanna be tapping through the traffic. In the bag, I wanna be hitting through the target, which is the same as if we're doing sparring, the same as if we're doing pad work, and the same as if we're doing bag work. So don't be so far that you lean, don't be so close that you're T-Rexing, and make sure you're hitting through the target, okay? Get your technique right, work on through there. Next top tip then, guys, all about breathing. It's a little secret in the martial arts that if you don't breathe, you die, so don't die. Breathe the whole way through the round. Every time I do my punches, I'm exhaling, so I'm sending some breath out, it gives me more power, and it means I'm breathing in and out so I don't gas out, okay? I'm relaxed the whole time, my shoulders are relaxed, my hands are relaxed, my feet is relaxed, my chin's down, my shoulders are up, and I'm only tensing my hands right at the end of the punch when I make contact. Before then, my hands and my fists are nice and loose, okay? Like I'm holding eggs in my hands, I don't want to crush the eggs. My hands are loose, and they're right at the end, bam! That's when I tense up, boom! in order to get that power in. I'm exhaling and breathing so I don't gas out. Breathe guys, relax. Next top tip, get your basic punches right. So to start with, we're always gonna teach the straight punches, the jab and the cross, okay? And here, I'm gonna nick from the mitt, Master Matt Chapman, I'm gonna talk about the four R's. So the first one is the range. We're gonna get the range right so I'm not all the way out here, and I'm not all the way in here as well. For the jab, I just wanna be just outside where I can take a step forward and punch through the target. The range is correct. Then I wanna think about my rotation. I don't just want to arm punch, no good. I want to get my whole body involved. I want to twist my shoulders, I want to twist my hips, and I want to make sure I'm getting all the power from all my body, not just arm punching. Rotating, bam, so that's the second R. We've got our range, we've got our rotation. Third one, common beginner mistake. They drop their hand on the retraction. So here, third one, we need to pop it out, and we need to bring it straight back again. Almost like it's stuck on a piece of elastic band, okay? So it goes boom, comes straight back to the face. Really, really, really important. Don't loop it down when there's a big gap here, boom, to be filled with a counter shot. Bring it straight out, straight back again. Okay, same for your cross, boom, your straight punches. Retraction the whole time. So we've got range, rotation, retraction, and then finally, we've got recovery. So make sure you're setting back into your stance, you're moving your head the whole time. Just work that, four hours, okay? Work your basics here, just straight punches. Working number one, your jab. Working number two, your crosses. String them together, jab, crosses. Crosses, jab, jab, double them up. Crosses, you can get a great workout just doing those two punches. Get them right, then move on to your hooks. Next top tip, all about footwork. So, start off slow, start off easy, and build it up, same as before, okay? So make sure I'm in the right distance. If I'm moving forward, my front foot's gonna move first, my back foot follows. If I'm moving back, my back foot moves, my front foot follows. If I'm moving left, my left foot moves, my right foot follows. If I'm moving right, my right foot moves, my left foot follows. If you've got that, and you can move forward, back, left, and right with ease, throw some punches, start bouncing on the feet as well, so you're nice and light, and then put them all together, bam, moving forward. Moving to the left, moving to the right. Doing my straight punches, moving forward. Retreating, moving back and forward. Work it nice and easy, work your straight punches, start slow with your footwork and build it up. 
Last top tip then guys, enjoy it. This is the most important one. So, make sure you've got a good foundation, make sure you're doing your punches correctly and safely, but the main thing is, smash that bag, enjoy it, and get a great workout in. The more you enjoy it, the more likely you are to go back and do it again. So, don't worry about what other people think. Go, enjoy it, smash that bag, bust some stress, and we'll see you soon for another video.